We do begin with breaking news tonight about the shooting death of Antoine Carter, the Cleveland woman who died Sunday. How can I help you? Yes, I have someone that's parked in front of my house that's been threatening me. And who is it? It's this girl. I don't know her in the building. What kind of car is she in? A blue, a dark blue Jeep. So what's going on tonight? So I, we was upstairs. I don't know what happened. I know my daughter came in the house and saying that her baby father came in. I, I think to me, he shot my other daughter's window out. So around 3.45 this afternoon, Cleveland police released several videos of the incident. And we do want to warn you that these videos may, dis be, may be disturbing to some of you. Cleveland police releasing this video of the chaotic incident that shows a driver tailing her on East 105th then hanging out the passenger side window and she turns onto Garfield Avenue where she lives, swerving and then hits a police vehicle that was already at her house. About an hour before that, she called 911, saying someone was threatening her outside her home. In a separate call, her mom Latrice said someone had smashed out her other daughter's window. As Latrice is talking to officers, she sees Antoine's car coming down the road. Officers see Antoine's car and hear the shots being fired and start shooting at her car. Because she had a chance to survive had they not started shooting as well. No. No, I never know. It was protocol. Is I know when somebody's shooting, do you just you just pick up your gun and shoot back? Or did you shoot back because you were scared? Of the city of Cleveland and the Division of Police. We want to offer our sincere condolences to the victim's family. I want to stress that this particular incident is currently being investigated, and as such, we're unable to disclose additional details in line with protocol. When she saw the police, I think she felt like this was my help right here. Because that's how fast she was coming. Antoine Carter was a resilient young woman who lived in the city of Cleveland, Ohio. At just 26 years old, she had already experienced more challenges and triumphs than many people do in a lifetime. Family and friends describe Antoine as silly, witty, full of life, and she loved her family. She's always smiling, she was always laughing, she was always cooking, she was always joking. She was silly. She was witty, she was a firecracker. She was my war. We were just talking like, who go cook? <laughs> because she always cooked the food. <laughs> well, then we figured now we might try to cook, but I don't think it's going to taste the same. <laughs> She was a firecracker who managed to bring a smile to all the faces of those around her. Antoine was a devoted mother to her five children, whom she raised with determination and love. Her five children ages ranged from seven months to 11 years old. Hey, mommy. Hey, mommy. I love you. Her oldest child's birthday was the day after she was murdered. Being raised in Cleveland, Antoine learned the value of hard work and perseverance from a young age. She was employed as a home health care aide. Her patients adored her for her compassionate, warm nature. She loved her job and was eager to see what the future held for her in the medical field. However, one unfortunate day, Antoine's life took a terrifying turn for the worse. In the early morning hours of March 17, 2024, she reported to 911 that she was being harassed by one of her children's father's current girlfriend. The girlfriend was said to be sitting outside of her home, allegedly taunting her. In the recent weeks, Parts of her 911 call have been released to the public. How can I help you? Yes, I have someone that's parked in front of my house that's been threatening me. And who is it? It's this girl. I don't know her in the building. What kind of car is she in? A blue, a dark blue Jeep. Unfortunately, hours later, after Antoine stepped out of the house, she was gunned down by a car that was trailing behind her. And as of today, only one arrest has been made, and that person refused to tell authorities who are all involved.
According to reports, Cleveland Police Dispatch received a call about a threat at 4.32 a.m. Etwana's mother, Latrice Carter, told police that windows were bust out of a vehicle in her driveway. Latrice said her daughter and one of her children's father got into an argument that same day. And according to News 5, a local news station in Cleveland, Etwana also called 911 at around 3.46 a.m., almost 45 minutes before her mother. Okay. I don't know who called, but yeah, I called. You know, Sergeant, uh, but you know, look, you've been here before. Yeah, so what's going on tonight? So I, we was upstairs sleeping. I don't know what happened. I know my daughter came in the house and saying that her baby father came in. And I, I think to me, he shot my other daughter's window out. It looked it like a bullet hole to her windshield. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, stop them. They, they. I don't know where my youngest daughter is at or my other daughter, but they in two different cars. But I do know when I came outside, the, all this glass right here. Yes, to my youngest daughter. Your, your house is damaged, right? No, it ain't my house, but it so was her car. But it looked car. like it was, I'm not going to lie, it looked like a bullet hole, like he shot That's a her bullet. car. That's a bullet. Well, she's not here, so we're going to have to, we would have to speak to her. Um, so someone was just outside your house and... She, they were threatening her or I, we was in the house sleep I, okay. we was my daughter my youngest daughter sleeps upstairs on the, in the attic uh -huh. i sleep right here my bedroom is right here mm -hmm. we was sleeping right we are all sleeping my other daughter came in the house like Tanisha and dj just did something to your car window over there yeah, i and came this, in it, like an ex-boyfriend you know, or something man, right yes this i cannot deal with this shit, man i ain't even gonna lie I, this is too much yeah, it's too much. I cannot deal with this. I just told her, like, you gotta go. Like, I, you bringing drama to my house at four o'clock in the morning. Whatever you doing, whatever y'all got going on, you should have enough respect for me. Yeah. Alone. So what I would do is like, and I don't know her relationship because she's not here to to kind of like talk us through it, but. Sounds like you're fed up with it as you I'm, should be. I'm good. But here's my here's my thing. Go down to the justice center and um, file for a protection order. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm sure there's been reports and stuff. Yeah, because he came before. Yeah. And the last time you you know kids came over here, six yeah. last six kids and all that, and I'm okay. just like. So I would go go down to the justice center. Um, and and look into a protection order okay they'll guide you in all the right places and stuff um they'll probably ask you questions and um you know why you feel like you need this and all that so just give them the rundown and all the reports that you've made in the past but she's gonna if she wants to report her vehicle she's gonna have to yeah that's what i was i was yeah. I didn't know she left her phone here. Yeah. So I well, was, she can she can go to the district as well. If she wants to drive up to the district, she can go to the district. Yep. Yeah, uh, the officer in the office will can take her report, come out and look at her car and everything. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'm sorry. I'm not <laughs> this is sorry. overwhelming. It's just too much. We can't go It is. Sleep. Yeah. Yeah. What if... My mental is just. Uh, yeah, no, you should. You shouldn't be, you know, stressed in your own home. You should be awake right now. Yeah, that too. You should be sleeping, and enjoying yourself. And then it's crazy because my brother's sleeping on the couch, so it's like, what if he would have shot through the house? Yeah. And hit my brother. Listen, I was, listen. He brought down to my mama's house. To my mother, my mother's still mm -hmm. sitting back to see her. He dropped. He brought drunk, drunk to my mama house. Oh. This this guy he got girl tendencies. He, he brought drop to my mother's house. Mm -hmm. Something y'all need, need, need 
put a warrant off of this dude because he's he got girl tendencies. So, yeah, we, he, he we can't tendencies. just we can't just you know arrest people just because. That, he, um, so one thing that will will help with that is a protection order. Okay? okay, so look into that anytime he steps foot. You know, on your it's unclear why or when Antoine left her home after she spoke with the dispatcher. However, during her mother's conversation with authorities, she noticed her daughter driving toward the house. Savannah's video revealed that Antoine was being chased down and shot at by a suspect on East 105th Street. Quickly, Antoine turned down Garfield Avenue towards Cleveland police officers to get away from the suspect. However, when she turned to the street toward the police officers, they also start firing back. While officers were at Antoine's home, her mother could overhear the radio that shots had been fired. She immediately responded, quote unquote, that's my daughter. <laughs> The breeze was flying in the air after her vehicle struck a Cleveland police cruiser. After officers returned fire, the other vehicle fled the scene. Etwana was found outside her vehicle. She was taken to the university hospital, but she was soon pronounced deceased. Since the incident, authorities released the full chase between Etwana and the suspects. Chief of Police, it's my priority to uphold the division and the city of Cleveland's commitment to transparency especially concerning incidents involving officer-involved use of force. I want to stress that this particular incident is currently being investigated by the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Office, and as such, we're unable to disclose additional details in line with protocols for external agency investigations. It is important to stress that this video is only a small part of the investigation. I must caution the, the videos we're preparing to release may contain graphic content. Accordingly, the victim's family has been informed about the impending release of these videos. The victim's car can be observed north on East 105th. The suspect's car turns onto East 105th and begins to follow the victim. The suspect begins to fire at the victim. You will notice the blue laser pointer on the weapon as shown in the previous video. The victim's vehicle strikes the police car as officers are responding to the gunshots. On behalf of the city of Cleveland and the division of police, we want to offer our sincere condolences to the victim's family. I want to stress that this particular incident is currently being investigated by the Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Office, and as such, we're unable to disclose additional details in line with protocols for external agency investigations. If anyone has information related to this incident, please call Crime Stoppers at 216 252-7463. Further inquiries shall be directed to Cuyahoga County Press Secretary at jchoch at cuyahogacounty.us. On March 25th, Cleveland police arrested 19-year-old Trinity Ford on an obstruction of justice charge. But after interrogation, her charges were then changed. Deputies have now filed charges of aggravated murder and murder. Court records show that Trinity lied to police, and investigators wrote that Trinity is the owner of the vehicle captured on camera. Tonight, the 19-year-old woman is pleading not guilty to charges connected with the fatal shooting of 26-year-old Antonia Carter last month. Trinity Ford allegedly shot multiple times at Carter's car before it crashed. Ford's bond is set at a million dollars, and there's no future court date scheduled at this time.
that the shooter is still on the run. The Cuyahoga County Sheriff's Department is investigating as the family pleads for the gunman to come forward. Betsy, just such a tragedy. The grief really just palpable out there. As of today, investigators are still looking for the man seen hanging outside the car. And according to Cleveland police, both officers are on administrative leave following established protocol. All in all, Latrice wants whoever was in the other vehicle to be found and a thorough investigation into everyone's actions. Antoine's family just hopes that justice will be served. Yeah. I'm here because my baby go. Like somebody took her away from us, so we here. Their grief is immeasurable. More than 50 anguished loved ones of Antoine Carter gathering where she passed away. She was an awesome mother. Like her personality, her life, everything is home. This is a hard pill to swallow. She was so loving. She was like so sweethearted. It's the worst nightmare ever. You know, she was trying to get home. These guys and these young kids, they need to come to their senses. You took someone away that, that was loving and caring and sensitive to society you know she didn't deserve it. Mean, just on your way home and to be gunned down so who would do this you know what i mean especially for no reason we were told that they made an arrest and i am ecstatic you hear me just the fact that we know that we're it's going to be justice there ain't no justice because she ain't gonna come back when we go to sleep tonight they're gonna be in jail and she's still gonna be gone so what that fix nothing <laughs> my thoughts and prayers to her friends and family especially her young children it was like she had nowhere to go i hope this case is thoroughly investigated you guys let me know your thoughts and your opinions about this story down below i will make sure i keep you all updated in the short section or in the community tab let's please respect the family and the victim in the comments i love you all dearly and with that being said please don't forget to check on your loved ones